I understand we have all chosen mm-hmm. we're going down this road. We are all going to be doing this shift. No. Or is that not is that not correct? No, there are multiple realities here. Even though it looks like one reality, we are obviously engaged in multiple realities because people are making choices that are completely incompatible with other choices that other people are making. Right. Now we can still see them all. Now we can still look and go, okay, well, I'm going to choose that and I'm going to choose that or I'm going to not choose this. But he's saying eventually we're splitting apart like trains leaving a station and going in different directions. And in the years to come, whatever's making this choice to go in this direction will no longer be able to even see or interact with the people that are making this choice in this direction. And they'll become two different realities, three different realities, five different realities ad infinitum. Right now, they're all still mixing, and we can still see other choices because this is the time of choosing. But eventually, the momentum will carry us. As Bashar says, in his society, at this point in their evolution, it is actually it would actually be a struggle for them to choose something negative because there's so much momentum in agreement behind the positive choices that they're making for their society. So we're still at the point where we can choose any direction. But that's the beauty of what we're seeing. It's like everything is coming out on the table, all the positive, all the negative, to great extremes. And we're seeing this polarity because it's the time to choose what we really prefer as individuals. And the ones that are sort of on a similar wavelength, they're on a certain train going in a certain direction. Those that are on a different wavelength are on a different train. And eventually the two trains are going to be so far apart, we'll never see each other again. So because we're to... shifting to different Earths. All mm-hmm. these Earths exist. And mm-hmm. we're shifting to different Earths billions of times per second. And eventually we'll be on an Earth where it's simply not vibrationally compatible for someone to choose a vibration that is too different from that particular version of Earth. They simply can't be there. So the the so you were telling me is there's an earth where all the YouTube comments are positive. Yeah. <laughs> Every single one. Every single one is positive and we yes. all live happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things that struck me the most one time is Bashar said, you know, miracles are the natural order of things. Right. What we always thought was a fairy tale is actually the way things work when you let them. So we are the exception. The things that we're experiencing is the exception, except we're using our ability to create our reality to create just about anything we can imagine. And that's fine. But you get to decide what you really prefer after a certain amount of time. You know, it's like trying everything on the menu and then going, okay, well, I really prefer this dish or that dish. And then you stick with a few dishes because that's really what f- makes you feel satisfied. You don't necessarily eat anything else on the menu after that. And that doesn't mean you have to be bored with it. It just means you have your preferences. So we're now at the stage where we're choosing our preferences and being shown all the examples of all the things we could possibly choose positively and negatively.